So we've got Tmax, and we've got Unix. This could be any script. If you rerun it, nothing changes. I'll undo a few times. As you can see, this is a markdown document. I'm making this video because I made this sort of functionality and I wanted to inspire you in case you get inspired. The reason why I made it isn't to mimic Emacs in some way. This is a document as notes for me studying, notes about studying, it says in the bottom. And it does calculations how many pages a day I'll have to read off of slides, and the slides are shown here. If I take Emacs out of the way, these are some shell, excuse me, these are shell commands. This is the output. What? Okay, that's actually really weird. <laughs> I don't get how that works. I also have this little calendar. I've locked it. I can unlock it, rerun it, change it. You get the idea, right? I'll undo, 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 undo. Save. If you want to make something similar, the way I did it is there is an executable, which is called Demso. It says MSO here instead of having many, instead of having something prettier, because MSO reminds me it's called MSO. The MSO command, let's open a terminal here. It works this way echo hi comment MSO something echo hello. Can you guess? Can you guess? <laughs> Sorry, and then the file. The something went away as it should. That's kind of the philosophy. So I recommend you make a program like this one and then you pipe it this as standard input. If you wonder how to do that, bang bang, when I say bang, shift one, exclamation. For some reason they call it bang. Then I pipe it into shell, or I can take these, pipe them into word count. It's count the words, either shell utilities. This is roughly how it works. I pipe this into MSO. Let's take this one. You have to take the whole thing so that the existing MSO comments disappear. So basically, this is what I've done. I have a key binding space R. It searches for these backticks and select to the last ones presses the keys bang m so enter and then because you have highlights it has no highlight this is what it does i did it in a filthy way really here it is vim.command you don't do it this way okay this is not the right way to do it, but we can do it this way, yeah. Um, MSO is this You can't see, let me allow 
Let me allow you to see it. Let me allow you to see it. It points to home, Alina. Alina is my username. Sorry, I didn't know it sounded feminine back when I made it. Turns out it sounds feminine. Sounds. It points to an executable with a login name. It's actually why it's called MSO, Embed Shell Output. Ignore the LC. <laughs> uh, this executable gets copied from a directory which I'll call sys. Actually, don't call it sys. The directory is called system wide commands. There is a symlink to it called sys. And the system wide commands directory is version controlled and And it has a makefile. The makefile does the copying. The makefile may run certain tests before it copies something. So it's handy. But that's another topic for another day. If you wonder what this looks like, I can go there. Very simple. Buffers. Yeah. And you can tell what this does, right? Pipes it into a shell. Pipe it into a shell. Take the output of the shell <laughs> and do a send. Uh, what's a little noteworthy is zero. You get what happens if you've sim linked. An executable. You know what zero does, right? Let me show you what it does just in case. VI temporary A dot shell. What? Oh, I've already used that. Anyway, echo dollar zero. That's what it does. That's what dollar zero is. Now, if I link. this way, whatever. Can I do this, by the way? I hope I can. Yeah, I can. Though I don't have to. Mode plus x temporary a dot shell bin sh. That's the trick. Dollar zero will be what you called it as. So if you've symlinked it, it will have the name of the symlink. By the way, this way you can tell who a program was called as, which is uh, the way that an interesting shell called Busybug works. I highly recommend you check it out because there are interesting tricks you can do if you use it right. Symlink. One executable from many places, the executable knows who you called it as, and it can act in different ways. I didn't do it here, I just print M, so in one case, and it's, I print its name right there, embed it. If that inspires you, then I got what I wanted to get. I don't believe uh, <laughs> Emacs is replaceable. Maybe I should learn Emacs little by little. Maybe. <laughs> it takes a long time to learn Emacs. I feel like I have higher priorities because I'm still learning basic things. Of course, I'm not trying to convince you that something about Unix style operating system is good. I'm not trying to convince you that Vim is good. I'm, I take for granted that you have already started using these things and that you need some source of inspiration. 
some idea. So I'm trying to give you the idea. And that's it. Let's end it here. And 